Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add the Midjourney bot on your Discord server. For this, you'll have to use a web browser. So open any web browser on your phone. It can be Google Chrome, it can be Mozilla Firefox or any other browser that's convenient for you. And on the web browser, go to this website, discord.gg slash midjourney and then press search. You'll be directed to the website, so let it load. Before all this, be sure you've installed Discord on your phone and you have already logged into your account, it will be much more easier. So you will be directed to this page and here you'll have to tap on accept invite. Let it load and you'll be directed to the Discord app on your phone. As you can see, you've been directed to the app. Here you'll again have to tap on accept invite, let it load and you've joined the Midjourney server. Here tap on announcements and on this page tap on the persons icon at the top right corner. And if you see here you can see the Midjourney bot. Tap on it. Then on this pop-up menu tap on add to server so that you can add this bot to your server. On this page you'll have to select the server on which you want to add the bot. So tap on the select a server option. And here all you have to do is select the server on which you want to add the bot to. I have only one server on my ID so I'll simply choose this one. After you've selected the server, tap on continue. After you're on this page, scroll down. And at the end of this page, you can see this option authorize. Go ahead and tap on it. And here you'll have to verify you're not a robot, so do what the instructions tell you to do. For me, it's to select images containing a living room. Tap on verify. Now let's go back to our server. And as you can see here, the bot has been added to our server. The Midjourney bot has been really popular nowadays. It is an AI art generator that works within the Discord only. After you've added the Midjourney bot on your server, you can start using it to create AI generated images. This is it for the tutorial. I hope it was helpful and don't forget to like the video and stay tuned for further tutorials. Thank you.